Right then, so we've been staying at the Strand Palace Hotel in London and we want to show you about our classic double room and show you why we would never ever book this room again. But let's start with the positives. So here we have a TV and coffee facilities which have been great, haven't they, Paulie? The great. The TV yep. will go over to there if you wanted to sit on the lone chair that Carol will show you in a minute or it will go round to the bedside. Yeah. But obviously... It's only good for the person on the one side of the bed, really. Which we'll go into in a moment. Yeah. Plug-wise, can't fault it at all. Plugs, uh, UK pins, round pins and flat pin in America's. And in here you've got a wardrobe, which if Paulie opens the door for me, mm. we'll show you that you've got ironing facilities, you've got an umbrella, and you've also got a really big laptop safe, which is always great. And also you've got a hairdryer. So let's start with the bathroom, which um, is a problem. So I'll get Paul to go and sit on the toilet and you can see why. This room is very small. <laughs> I will say, you know, in the, in the interest of, of, of fairness, the shower cubicle... Yes, the show has been off, great. There's a massive step to get in. Yes, there is. Which is a downer for me. Yeah. But it's, it's sort of almost big enough. Yes. But that step would be a real problem if you've got any issues with yeah. going down. And I always get a bit paranoid stepping out of something when, when you're, you're wet. wet. So, yeah, exactly. So there's good and bad there. The toilet is just terrible because when you you can't. It's you're sort of wedged in there, aren't it's you? It's impossible to get with on poor it. shoulders. On, the toilet rolls there. Yeah. So you can't reach it without hand. You're nearly falling off the toilet to reach it yeah. without hand. So that's just like, yeah, you know, not good. I know, not good say, I know people say, oh, that's because you're fat. <laughs> well, this isn't fat. Yeah. This is power. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, positive thing, the products were lovely. Yes. <laughs> but let's go into the, the bedroom and tell you why this has not been a, a good good choice for us. We've look at the bed here. This is against the wall bed. It's like a, a very small double, but it is a small double. And getting in and out, obviously, um, it's just been a, a right pain, hasn't it? Yeah. And it's just not been... A, I've not slept very well all night because I've been pushed up against the wall. Um, <laughs> but uh, it has got more plugs either side and it has got plugs there. And then the other issue with this room, apart from the bed, which is so compact, is the noise. Now, we are on the Strand um, in London, so the location is a real positive. It's so handy to be everywhere however out of this window even though you've got wooden shutters that you can close up you could hear last night music from the jollities on the um you could just see out it's difficult isn't it? yeah. don't, don't, can't see a lot but the noise last night when we got in it was really really loud wasn't it poorly so it if you're a light sleeper you wouldn't sleep well no at all. you wouldn't and from very early this morning traffic noise, yeah. bin lorries, all that sort of stuff was all going on for very early in the morning, even with wibbly wobbly shutters closed. Yes. That doesn't cut out any noise. Any noise at all. Yeah. And this cost us £245 for one night. So it's all about the location. It's location, location, yeah. location, as they say. Two four two forty two forty five. I can't remember exactly what 245. it was. Two forty five. Two forty five. But that's no breakfast. No. Nope. All you get is your coffee and tea. You get a couple of biscuits. Yeah. You get Wi Fi. But it's one of those ones where you are definitely just paying for the location. Yeah. If you if you're just not worried about getting much rest. And you just want to be out in the throng or everything. Convent Gardens right on the doorstep. Yeah. The theatre district's only a few minutes away. Happy days. Yeah. But if you want to come here and get and have a proper night's sleep, then pick a different room that's bigger yeah. and not facing the front of the property. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. So hopefully that's been helpful yeah. for your choice of hotels in London. Shame, isn't it? Because it's, it's perfect shame. location. But for us, this just hasn't worked. Now go and watch more of our hotel reviews next. <laughs> <laughs>